Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the GA2S from Radio Oddity. It's a single band handheld, covers from 400 to 470 megahertz. And we're going to take a look to see what we've got in the box, what it sounds like on air and also look at the programming. So as you can see here, we're just currently taking the items out of the box. Pretty much you've got everything that you'd normally get with a handheld of this type. Now this handheld is pretty robust in the hand, I must admit, I have already unboxed it before, but for the purpose of the video, I put it all back in the box, just like every other YouTuber, and taken it out again for your viewing pleasure. So the battery just clips onto the back. It's quite easy to put on. If you're able to turn on a phone, I'm sure you'll be able to attach a battery to the radio. It just clips on quite nicely and quite firmly. As you can see from the video, the antenna just goes onto the top. There's only one antenna connection, so you can easily screw it in there. You have two rotary controls on the top, one for volume and one for channel change. There's 16 channels available which you can program into the radio using the software. There's a little indicator LED at the top, which turns green when you're receiving, and it also turns red when you're transmitting. On the front of the radio, you have the speaker and a little hole on the bottom right for the microphone. Now the GA2S doesn't come with a programming cable unfortunately, but they are pretty cheap on eBay or Amazon. Now to program it, we just plug the cable into the side socket, which is underneath this little flap. You'll also notice there's a USB connection there as well. That's not for connecting to your computer and programming it, but it's for charging it, which is absolutely great if you forget to take the docking charger out with you. You can easily just plug it into like a power bank, into your car, wherever that you've got a five volt USB supply. Uh, you can just plug the cable into there and it will start to charge it. Now as a quick comparison to size, let's have a take a look at the Biofang BFUV and the, I've also got here a MD380 by Titera. So let's go ahead and take a little listen to what it sounds like on air. This is a audio test for the Radio Oddity GA-2S handheld radio. This radio covers from 400 to 470 megahertz. It has CTCSS and DCS and can also be charged from a 5 volt USB power supply. This is the Radio Oddity GA-2S and I'm using SDR Uno with an RSP Duo receiver to capture this audio. My mouth is around 2 inches away from the radio and I'm talking across it. So let's take a look at how we program the radio. So I'll leave a link down in the description where you can get the V12 software from. But once you've got it connected, you literally just have to click read from radio uh, and it will pull back all of the current frequencies. Now my radio is already programmed with the UK PMR frequencies, but when I received the radio, it was actually out of band. It wasn't programmed to anything that I could use on the handbands and it wasn't usable on the PMR bands either. Now reading and writing to the radio is pretty easy and also editing as you can see here. Now this is the official V12 software which comes from Radio Oddity to program the radio but you can also use another application called Chirp. Now Chirp is what I would normally use because it has a really useful feature for importing stock frequencies. So let's take a look at Chirp and how easy it is to work with. So the first thing we need to do is download from the radio. Now, if you're not too sure which COM port that your radio is connected to, you can just go over to Device Manager, have a look at the COM ports, and you'll be able to see which port your radio is connected to. So I'm just going to change mine to COM5, and I'm using the Baofeng BF888 as the radio profile. That's the one that works and is compatible with this radio. As you can see here, I've now cloned the radio back to the software. By default, the frequencies are not going to be what's shown on screen purely because I've already programmed this radio. But if you're in the UK and you want to program it to a set of frequencies such as PMR, you can use the import stock config, uh, which is just used like this. 
Now we're only interested in 16 frequencies because that's how many channels there are for PMR UK. So you just go ahead and select the frequencies or the PMR channels from one to 16 that you want. And before you click OK to import them, you need to click the auto button that will reorganize the channels to the right channel numbers so that PMR1 will be channel 1, PMR2, channel 2, all the way up to 16. Now, once you click auto, you are then ready to go. Just click OK and then you can download back to your radio. That's assuming that you don't want to go ahead and change anything like CTSCSS or DCS tones. OK, so that's the GA2S from Radio Oddity. Overall, I think it's a really great little handheld. It's single band. It does high power, easily chargeable, and also it's rugged and feels very good in the hand. The audio quality is not too bad either. Okay, well, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next video, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.